Hey, here we are today. Uh, I'm gonna give you some mountain bike maintenance tips. This is really basic stuff. We're gonna talk about changing flat tire today, but uh, skills that everyone who rides a bike should have. So we're out riding today. This is my son's bike. He got a flat tire. This is, uh, uh, we were able to ride off the mountain. It's just a small leak somewhere, but nevertheless, we're gonna fix it up for him. So first thing we gotta do is take the wheel off the bike. And with this, it's a quick release. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop the quick release off. This lever pops down and then you spin the other side to loosen it up. And the whole wheel just slides right off, just like that. So we've got the wheel off. Now what we need to do is uh, take the tire off the rim so there's a little locking washer on this. You can see holding the tube in place. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off right now. Uh, don't lose this piece. You're gonna want that later. So I'm gonna stick that in my pocket here. When I'm in my backyard, I'm showing you this kind of the way I do it on the trail. Um, I'm gonna pull out my tire levers. My son has tire levers on his bike carries them with him all the time. But since I'm home, I'm gonna use my big tire levers from my toolkit. And we're just going to put the tire lever underneath the lip of the tire and then lever it down. And then we're gonna start just sliding along the rim see how that just peels off. This, this one's not on there too tight. Sometimes they're really tight. You're gonna need two tire levers to get that off. But this one, one tire lever was fine. So now we're just gonna go all the way around. And you don't have to take the tire all the way off. You just have to get the tube out. So to get the tube out, I'm just gonna pop right here where the valve stem is, pop the valve stem out. See. You don't want to get that caught, you can rip it and damage it. And then I'm just going to peel the tube out. And what I'm going to do is leave the tire on the rim because I want to inspect, once I find the flat on here, inspect the entire rim and the wheel to see if there's something in there sharp or uh, some, any type of damage that could have caused the flat. So I got the tube off. Typically I won't be able to find a flat just by looking at it unless it's a big flat. And this one I know is not a big flat, it's just a little flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just generally inspecting and that might be it right there. There's a little bit of damage on the tube you can see right there. We'll, we'll have to uh, pump this up to see if that's a leak. So I've got my floor pump here. And this is a Presta valve. So you have to unscrew the tip of that. And then you just start pumping it up here. And you wanna, when you're in, inspecting these for leaks, you wanna inflate them pretty full. Don't be shy. Um, that pressure will help you find the leak. So now I'm just gonna go around and look for and feel for any leaks. And one way to do this, you can put it up to your face. Sometimes that'll help you um, feel on my lips, really sensitive area feel a leak and I found one and I found two. So there's two holes in this, at least. I'm still gonna inspect the whole thing here. Inside, and these two that I found happen to be on the outside. So you can see one there, that's not the spot I found earlier. And that's not the spot I found earlier. That's the one I found earlier. That one's not leaking, but these two are. 
a little bit. So there's a little bit of damage. So we're gonna inspect to see what uh, is causing that damage. And the way that I like to do that is, we got this lined up. So I can look, lining the valve stem up with the hole, and I can look here, right along the wheel, and sure enough, right where my hole is, guess what I found? There is a thorn poking out of the tire casing. If you look at the inside, there's a sharp, nasty thorn right there. So I'm gonna get that out. I'm just gonna push on it with the tire lever here carefully. And then the back side, I just peel it out. So that was one of the spots. Since I found one thorn, I won't be surprised if I find a few others as I inspect this. So I'm gonna carefully, very carefully rub my hand through the inside of this thing. Here's another one. All three of those spots were probably caused by thorns in the tire. And these sometimes can be tricky to get out if they're really stuck down deep into the tire. But it's important that you do or else you're just gonna end up with another flat when you put the tire back on. Waste of your time. So make sure, be really careful about getting these types of things out of your tire. So that one's pretty good. We'll run over that one again with some sandpaper in a minute. Just being really methodical and careful to check the inside of this tire since we are finding a few thorns. And then I'm also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna check the rim tape. So this, there's the rim tape. Um, make sure it's in good condition. If you see punctures coming through here, it can mean that you've got spokes that are damaged and poking holes back through. That'll pop your tire pretty fast too. So the rim tape looks good. Make sure it's not rolled up to where the tire needs to beat onto the rim. That'll prevent you from beating up. So that looks good. I think our tire is pretty much set. I'm gonna do a little bit more work on that one thorn that I couldn't get out to clean up, make sure it's not gonna puncture anything else again. But now what I'm gonna do is get my patch kit and just patch these uh, damaged spots. And the tire patch is pretty easy to do. I'm gonna go get my tire patch kit. I'll be right back. All right, so I picked up my tire patch kit, grabbed a little rag to wipe down the uh, tube with. What I've got here are three patches. These are just rubber patches. And then some sandpaper. That's to scuff up the tire. And then some vulcanizing cement. This will help bond these rubber patches to this rubber. So the first thing I'm gonna do with each of these spots, just wipe it down, get all the dust and uh, junk off the tube. And then take the sandpaper. And I'm just gonna scuff up where these holes are. And if they're really tiny holes, oftentimes I'll draw a circle around it with a Sharpie marker that's like silver or another color that'll stand out, just so I don't lose the hole. These ones are pretty easy to see, so I'm not worried about that. But scuffing it up like this just helps the uh, glue adhere better. So 
so the patch will stay right where you put it. You can leave some of the air pressure in, you just don't want it forcing air through that hole while you're trying to seal the patch onto it. So that's probably good. You want to make sure we do this clean. So normally I do this on a workbench, but I'm trying to show how we do it in the field. This vulcanizing fluid, you're gonna just kind of rub in a circle, usually about the size of the patch, a little wider than the size of the patch. Just like that, you don't need a lot of this, just a thin coat. And then peel the foil backing off the pouch. Don't litter, put it in your pocket. And then you'll just kind of stick that right onto the hole into the glue. And what you want to do here is push down, especially on the edges. You want to seal the edges nice and tight. A lot of these come with orange. So see, I'm just scraping that down on the edges and then I'm going to push hard in the middle. I'm going to let that one sit for a second while I do the next one, which is right here. So again, a little closer this time, just a little bit of this right over the hole. Peel off the foil. Keep that nice and clean. You don't want any debris or dust or things getting under there. That'll keep you from getting a good tight bond. And then again, just push down hard on that Scrape the edges, get them all nice and stuck to the tube. Okay, so now let's look at this one. We should be able to peel this off. You have to be careful because sometimes when you peel this off, you end up peeling up the rubber patch too. And that that is a sign that you didn't stick it very well. This one's peeling up okay. The edges aren't coming up, except for this one little spot. So there's a patch, wrapper in the pocket. And then this one. Give this one another second here. There you go. Now these should be holding air. What we're gonna do now is check to make sure these hold air. I'm gonna sleep this guy up. Check each one of these. Good. This one is coming up just a little bit, so I'm going to deflate this. It's not leaking, but I don't like the seal I got on this edge, so sometimes that happens. It'll Use a little bit more of this vulcanizing fluid. And then rework the seal on that edge. And as you'll see, the rubber will stick and basically bond to, vulcanize to the tube. 
Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so there's a patched tube. Put that here for now. I'm gonna go fix this tire. There's one spot that I didn't like, so. Right there. It's kind of sanding down the end of that thorn. should do it. You can usually peel these out, but this one's just the tip of it's in there and I can't quite get it out. So I sanded it off. All right, so tire's ready, tube is ready. Put it back together. What you're gonna do is find the hole where the valve stem goes. It's right here. And this tube is lightly inflated, not too inflated. Valve stem is in. Here's the valve stem in my pocket. Go ahead and screw this on to keep the valve stem from getting twisted. You don't want it getting twisted sideways. You don't have to screw it down all the way tight yet. And then we're just gonna take the tube put it inside the tire. And then the reason it's lightly inflated is so that it can fill the shape of the tire. We'll get it seated in the rim. And then what we can do is just start to, I usually start right here at the valve stem, just get the rim pop that up just a bit to get the rim down underneath the tube. You can see that. And then just kind of roll all the way around. Should go in pretty easily. And then when you get to this, what you want to do is make sure that that tube is not getting pinched in the tire. Let's grab our tire lever. Now that it's tight, and this, see how the tube's up in there? You don't want that. And if, if you're having problems with that, you can inflate your tube a little bit and it should stay out of your way. Because if you get your tube pinched in there, you'll be doing this all over again in just a minute. this. Often you'll need two tire levers at this point. One to hold this side and one to start prying. But I can also often keep it steady with my finger right there and then just pry one section at a time. And now we're on. So now what I like to do is just go all the way around, make sure the tube isn't pinched by the tire. And it's not. So we're gonna start putting air back in this. Be careful as you're doing this to watch and feel make sure everything's seated okay and the tire's not popping back out, tube's not stuck. Looking good here. Okay, that's 28, that's where he likes to ride. So tighten down the valve stem nut, close the valve. Now we can remount this. 
So just like we took it off, we're just gonna slide it right up in here. Brake rotor, make sure the brake rotor's aligned between the pads. There, so that's in. Make sure it's all the way in straight. You can do that by checking to see if it rubs on the brake rotor. And it doesn't, so we're good there. That's how you change a flat tire. And what we're gonna do I'll just wash this overnight, come back and check the pressure in the morning, see if it's leaking. If it is, we know we haven't solved the whole problem, we'll do it again. But I'm pretty confident this one will be good. So that's how you change a tire. It's really basic. Everybody should know how to do that. If you don't watch this again, learn how to do it. Get the skills you need so that you don't get stranded out on the trail. Nothing worse than being six miles out in the wilderness and getting a flat and not being able to get back in. Learn this skill and uh, come back and subscribe so you can get more tips and tricks like this on biking, mountain biking, but all sorts of other adventures too. So come check us out, subscribe at the bottom. Thanks.